Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Surveyor Legend 19BHLE travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of the RV, then we're going to come back to the outside of the RV and go over all those details. And we'll close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Surveyor 19BHLE trailer here. We're going to walk around the inside real quick, and then we'll head back out. We're going to start here in the little kitchen area. So some new stuff that has changed. There's going to be the wood color changed a little bit. Flooring also changed a little bit. The hardware on your drawer handles and your cabinet handles changed up a little bit. Counters are slightly different. Starting up here on the side of the cabinet, you have your in and out button for your awning, your slide, your awning LED light strip, your porch light, and your interior light switch. This also had the solar on it as well. So this is the solar charger controller. It's blinking like crazy right now because there's not a battery on the RV for it to communicate properly, but you kind of get the idea what it looks like. You can see your Coleman air conditioner right there in the center of the RV. That has basically uh, a digital thermostat over there on the wall to control it. You set the temperature to what you want and it will kick on and off from there. Or you can just turn it in fan mode and let it blow out air if it's still a cool night but you don't really need the air on. If you just want some fan motion going, you can do that as well. Now up top there, you have some overhead cabinets above the uh, stove area right there. It's a decent sized space. To the left of that cabinet door is also your Furion AM FM radio there, which does have an HDMI input and USB charger input as well. Two burner gas stove top, which does have the gas or the uh, glass lid that flips up and kind of acts as a backsplash. Just below that is your Raystone microwave setup right down there, convection microwave. Three pull, uh, pull out full extending drawers down below, and the top one there does have the new little silverware separator also. Then you have the high rise spring faucet there with the sprayer built in, and a small little undermount sink. Little pet friendly bowls on the side of the cabinet down there, along with your fire extinguisher as well. Now on this side here, you have your dinette area, which is obviously the slide out. Nice big windows there. The two on the sides of the slide do actually open so you can get some airflow through there on a good night. The dinette will fold down and make into a bed, as you can see pop up there. This is also the new color as well. You can kind of get an idea on what this looks like here. Along with the counters as well. Now down below you have some storage built in. You got the little doors swing open there so you can store some stuff underneath of there also. And then you can see the little waste basket down there. That's also one of the model change things they did was they included a waste basket finally in the RV. On the side of the bed headboard there is an electric outlet and USB charger ports as well. So if you were sitting at the dinette needed to plug something in you could plug in right there. Little bunks in the back area there, decent size, 300 pound rating, has a built-in ladder to help you get up to the top bunk. Just to the right of that down there is the propane leak detector and directly below that is also the propane furnace. You have 
the electric box with your breakers and fuses directly below the refrigerator. Then you have the nicer Norcold 12 volt refrigerator. That is a bigger refrigerator. It's 10.7 cubic feet, where a lot of RVs have a six or eight cubic foot refrigerator in them. So a little bit nicer refrigerator. And again, with the solar package on it, that helps extend that battery life for camping off the grid. Kind of a closer look here at the bunk area, you have a light and a USB charger port there as well. And then again, window that does open. Kids have a little pull curtain for privacy here. And same thing down here. Back here, we'll pop up a couple of pictures to make this look a little easier here to see, but uh, you have a medicine cabinet in the back back there. You do have a fan up top there. They also have the little uh, robe hook or towel holder, whatever you want to call it right there, and a little bag that comes with it, little uh, embroidered survey or laundry bag. Light switch in here on the wall, your monitor panel just below the sink there, which has your water pump switch and your gas water heater switch, along with the tank monitors as well foot flush toilet which does have the porcelain bowl some storage underneath of that sink decent sized shower here it does have probably I'd say about four inches of depth to it so if you did have a small baby or something you could give them a little bath back here it's a little tight but you could do it skylight up above and then you do have a little hanging closet right here, along with some more storage there. Looking toward the front of the RV is the parents' bedroom area, I guess you'd say. And you do have some storage underneath the bed, so you could store some stuff under there as well. Got the little headboard area there, which does have a couple uh, cup holders built into it. Some overhead cabinets there, decent amount of storage all the way across the front. Individual lights under there as well that turn on and off. And then in between the cabinet and the door is TV hookups there on the ceiling. So there's a spot there on the wall where you could screw a flat screen TV bracket to it and mount you a nice size TV up there. But overall, a pretty decent amount of room in here for a small, lightweight unit like this. So we are going to head to the outside, and then we're going to come back in, close her up, and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new 2021 and a half Surveyor Legend 19 VHLE trailer here. Again, bunkhouse travel trailer. Uh, this thing's got tons of little features in it here. You can see here, pass-through storage compartment all the way across, little motion light, aluminum bed framing up there, a little bit thicker baggage doors than some of these lightweight brand trailers use, along with the slam lock baggage door latches, magnetic holders for those doors, deep tent safety glass windows, power awning which has the LED light strip built in against the trailer up there and then you also have an amber porch light as well it's nice to have two different types of lights outside a lot of brands just do one on the uh, power awning it is also able to be manually cranked in in this front right arm up here there's a spot you can pop out a little rubber plug stick a socket ratchet thing in there and actually crank it in manually in case of an electronic failure. Not all awnings can do that, so that's a nice improvement on this version of an awning. The arms are also adjustable. You can pull this down here, causing the awning to tilt so you can kind of direct the water runoff in the rain. 
You have two outdoor speakers. They do have a little blue lighting inside of them as well. Just to the right of that amber lens up there is your stove exhaust. You have the nicer more ride step. The step comes down, touches the ground. It holds more weight. They're able to hold up to 500 pounds where a traditional hover RV step is only rated for 300 pounds. So more weight. By touching the ground, they are more stable when the kids are running in and out of the RV. It's not shaking the camper as bad. Now the downside to that is obviously it comes down and touches the ground. So you do have to adjust the feet a little bit depending on how your campsite is. Um, also, when you go to flip them up into the doorway, you need to make sure they're clean. Uh, so otherwise it'll just kind of flip all the dirt into the camper. So, you know, a lot of pluses, but there's a couple little negatives as well. But overall, nice improvement for an RV step. Large folding entry handle there to get you in and out of the coach, just to kind of help you. Next to that entry handle is your model number. That's where they usually put it on all RVs. So if you're out looking around, look at that spot to identify what model you're looking at when you're walking on the dealer's lot. And then you'll also see your sticker there that talks about Asdale sidewalls. That's a really important improvement in RVs. Not all of them do that. That is how fiberglass is attached to the RV. So instead of the outer white shell here being glued to a eighth inch Luon board, wood board that could rot and damage, it's glued to a man-made composite material that's a better sound deadener, better insulator, and doesn't rot and delaminate like Luon does. Single axle unit, as you can obviously see here. We'll get over to the weight specs and tire sizes and stuff on the other side here shortly. Just above that tire is a outside TV hookup along with an electric outlet there as well. So you could plug in a TV and stuff out here too. Another new feature is going to be this little outside kitchen area. So you do have a little spray port here. So you've got some cold water here if needed. Black tank flush is located right there to clean out the toilet system as well. Little griddle kind of hangs there and you have a little prep space area as well and you can see just down below that's where your gas line actually hooks up to everything and then you have your low point water drains your hot and cold water drains also and you have heavy duty scissor jack stabilizer jacks and you can also see under there fully enclosed underbelly and closing that underbelly just kind of helps extend your camping season into the fall a little bit better as the tanks are less likely to freeze up on a chilly night. All new graphics on the outside as well. The unit is pre-wired for backup camera or observation camera up top there. Now that is a nice feature to do. I would recommend the Furion observation camera if you're going to go with what the factory preps it for. That's a nice unit that is wireless. It'll shoot a wireless signal to the monitor that comes with it inside your truck and basically allow you to see behind you while you're driving down the road. Ladder on the back just to help you kind of get up and down on the uh, roof area there. And that is a walkable roof. Just again, make sure nothing's sharp in your shoes or anything to damage the roof material. But you could get up there, kind of check it for maintenance and stuff like that. Also, if you need to sweep something off the slide out as well, uh, if you're under a leafy tree that's fallen down in the winter time or whatever in the fall time, that just kind of helps, you know, be able to sweep things off up there. Now you can also do slide toppers as well aftermarket if you wanted to do something like that. It is prepped for a slide out topper and that would also help eliminate that problem of things falling on top of your slide. Spare tire you can obviously see here on the back and that is mounted to the four inch square tube bumper where you could store dump hose or something along that in there. More storage here in this section. This is under the bunk area. And you can see there your jack handle and your power tongue jack handle also. Down below here is your gray and black tank dump area. Everything comes right out of the one section here. 
Just above that is your detachable power cord. It's got like a little pistol grip handle to it. It's kind of nice so it doesn't really pull down at a weird angle like those straight ones do messing things up. And you can see power cord's pretty long there. It's probably close to 25, 30 feet roughly, just kind of stretching across into the building there. Just above that power cord is your cable and satellite inlet. So if you go to a campground that has cable and satellite, you can plug right in there. To the left of that is your furnace exhaust. That is where basically the excess heat and stuff, the fumes are blown out, gets super hot. So again, make sure the kids don't get near that in the fall and winter. Slide out is electric. This is the in-wall slide by Lippert or sometimes referred to as Schwintech, which was what it was used to be called. And that is an electric slide again. So you push a button, it goes in and out. Pretty simple system. Could manually be pushed in if needed. Uh, case of an emergency but I don't recommend that and just to the left of that is your water heater and your water heater six gallon gas and electric water heater now right down here is the electric switch here's your drain valve that's your heating element back in behind there there's also a couple little reset buttons here model number product number serial number on the sticker right there city water Fresh water tank drain straight down below. Fresh water tank fill up right there. The other side of the storage compartment here. Overall, pretty cool little lightweight unit for the family. Quick trips, definitely a good unit. Um, we're gonna pop up some stickers here. So you're gonna see your gross vehicle weight sticker pop up which has your serial number, your production date, axle size, some information there. You're gonna see your dry weight sticker here pop up next. That also has the VIN number on it. And you're gonna see your carrying capacity sticker as well. And then you're gonna see your tire sticker, which basically tells you your tire size along with the tire pressure on there as well. Up front here, you can see you have a white roll fiberglass as well, and it does have the little frameless windshield in it also. Pretty nice window. Now down below here is your battery disconnect. It's a little red box right there. There's room for one or two batteries depending on the size of the battery, but you got uh, one battery, deep cycle interstate battery when you purchase from couches. None come from the RV factory. Uh, so definitely make sure you at least get one. You need that for most states legally to work the breakaway cables and stuff. Power tongue jack on the front does have a manual override and also has a built-in LED light. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, even though it's a single axle, a lot of single axles are only two inch. This still has the heavier duty two and five sixteenths hitch ball on it. That power tongue jack also has an adjustable foot you see there. Single 20 pound propane tank standard. Some customers choose to aftermarket do an upgrade to two 20 pound tanks, which requires a new mount, a new bottle cover, obviously the extra bottle, and then a dual stage regulator system. Um, they do that pretty often there at Couches RV Nation for customers. So talk with your salesperson about that if that does interest you. They also put the little pet friendly leash attachment piece there on the front. I've been kind of using that in these videos as a safety chain holder, um, but that really is the pet friendly leash holder is what that's for. Kind of a dual purpose setup, I guess. We're gonna go inside, close this thing up, show you what it looks like closed. And I also wanted to point out, I keep forgetting about this, um, they went to a new door handle. So this is kind of cool. It's got a little pull lever. Kind of reminds you of a car door to a certain extent. And then even on the inside, that is a new piece. And then always write down this information as well. This is your key number. That is very important. If you lose your keys, that number you can call and order new keys. While we're already here, we might as well just walk on in and do the slide out for you here real quick. 
So when you're inside, again, your slide button was up here on this control panel. And basically all you gotta do is push the button to bring it in, but you wanna make sure nothing is in the way, including this new trash can feature that they started giving everybody. Push the button. Now you could stop pretty much anywhere you want to if you needed to stop just to make sure there's not a tree over there or something you know down there in the way or whatever. Just let off the button and it'll stop for you. And then just hit the button again to bring it back in. Again guys, don't forget to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country will definitely save you guys a ton of money on a new RV if you're interested, guys. Um, as you can see, slides in, it stopped, kind of did its thing. Now we can still come into this RV and use this. So completely functional, even with the slide closed. It's a little tight, obviously it's not as roomy, but hey, if you were to stop at a rest area, a Walmart parking lot or whatever, you could come in here, lay down, take a nap, or whatever you need to do. You can also see up there a little LED backlighting that was kind of showing up there a little earlier. But that is basically what that looks like back in behind there. I'll run in the room back out. Same exact thing. You just hit the button in the out mode. All right, guys, again, appreciate you a ton here watching these videos. If you have any questions, please give Couches RV Nation a call. They will definitely take good care of you guys.